You guys ready for another great one? We've got a huge collaboration of contractors. We are here at the Lake Erie Island Nature and Wildlife Center, and we are about to build another incredible pod. Come on. I'm like ready to cry, it's so cool. Amen, Amazing. that's what it's all about. We are gonna build a pondless waterfall. The easiest way to learn something is to teach it. We are rocking and rolling on this pond. We appreciate you guys tuning in. of you may remember we've been here before about a year ago we built an incredible pond inside with the coyote peterson it was so much fun we're here a year later because they were so inspired by the work we did inside they said hey is there any opportunity to do something outside and of course we said yeah kind of what we do you usually do them outside so we came up with an incredible design so the whole idea of the design was to really attract wildlife right because we're at the nature wildlife center <laughs> so we wanted to build way more of a bird loving type habitat so we've got a really cool stream that's gonna come down through there, kind of more of a gentle flow, move into a wetland filter that'll make this thing absolutely spotless. And then it's gonna go into a decent sized pond. I don't know, the pond's probably 16 by 16 or so. We kept it relatively shallow. It's only two feet deep, a lot of ledge areas so we can get some cattails and different types of native aquatics. And then left a lot of room for other natives to go all the way around the outside of the pond. So we've got a pond, we've got a wetland, we've got a biofalls, we have a skimmer and we're gonna take all this stuff and try to make it look like it's been here forever one of the things I really wanted to incorporate in the design was a bridge and the reason I wanted a bridge is because I wanted people to be drawn out to this area and people are drawn to bridges and not only would they be drawn to the bridge but there's an amazing pathway that kind of moves around back through the woods where they can discover more salamanders and snakes and different types of birds and all that kind of stuff so we went at it hard yesterday and we needed to do that because the digging can conditions were so, so tough. So we went in, we started digging. At one point, the track fell off the machine. At another point, we hit solid bedrock. We had to call the excavating company to get a jackhammer bit and go in and bust up some of that ledge rock that we hit. But we got all that done. We got our fabric in, we got our liner in. We used the really thick, thick, thick stuff for the underlayment. And now we are ready to make this thing look beautiful. Now I keep hearing Ed and Greg talk about getting this thing done in one day. I don't think that's possible, but let's give it a shot. Come on. favorite part. 
part when I see everybody just working together. We've got the guys from Myers Landscape down here just setting big boulders, and they are so familiar with big boulders. Down here working on the pond. Chris Wilson from Aquascape just finished hooking up the skimmer. They're working on doing some pumps after we get this rock set. You've got Ed over there working with a team of people getting the wetland done. I don't know, maybe we'll get it done today, but our goal is to get this pond rocked in, like all one day ponds, by lunchtime. And I think we might hit that goal. some of this logs over here and we saw this rock or I saw this rock and Renee knows Joe over here and that rock is going to make unbelievable waterfalls. So we've got Luck Landscaping, Josh's truck. We're going to put it on this pallet and put it in there and bring it back for a waterfall. Back. <laughs> <laughs> See how fast I moved? Yes, yeah. I did. <laughs> I'm drinking water because we just humped it in two hours. Well, let me just show you, come on, come on. Remember, we said our goal by lunchtime was to have that pond rocked in. Not only is it rocked in, but it's being edged and finished and everything. Pumps are hooked up. We got our vault with one pump in there. We got our skimmer box with another pump. The skimmer box feeds the biofalls. The vault feeds the wetland filter. We got all of our edging done along here. We've got Brad and the guys over here finishing that edge. We got some of our big peninsula size rocks. We got Dan Meyer working back over here on this edge. We got some logs hiding the skimmer box. And then if you look just past that, Ed's got the bog basically rocked in, not rocked in all the gravel put in so now we're gonna start decorating the top of that with some bigger boulders and stuff you can also see in between we've got this kind of narrow channel at some point we're gonna start building a bridge that leads you back into that pathway and we talked a little earlier about that pathway so let's just go look at that now The idea is you're gonna walk across that bridge, you're gonna come this way, which then leads you to this kind of like hidden staircase and nobody knew this was back here. So they had all these visitors that thought it was just what was inside, which is in its own right, very, very cool. But they've got this whole little hidden pathway and this staircase that leads you to this kind of like secret garden. Walk around, look at some of the native plants. There's different birds that are moving through here all the time. Last time we were down here, we saw some snakes. Uh, there's even a, an original pond that was built back here probably about 30 some years ago. And from my understanding, it's a breeding ground for a lot of salamanders. Unfortunately, with a pond like this, this is the stereotype of man-made little ponds. You know, they, they dug a hole, they threw a rubber liner down in here. It's obviously working. It's been here for some 20, 30 years, like I said earlier, but there's no filtration system on it. So all of these leaves every fall come down in here, fall into the, what used to be a three foot deep pond and then just sit. And so it's just a bunch of stagnant water, mosquito breeding, kind of cesspool, but the salamanders use it. So that's kind of cool, I guess. With proper filtration, they could throw a skimmer box on here, a little waterfall, get this thing moving, and it would actually really enhance this whole secret garden space. The reason we didn't redo this is because it was near impossible to get electric all the way down here. So we left this one to be Richard's Pond, the way it's always been, and then we built, uh, you know, the, the Lexus of Ponds up on top of it. So 
what we got going on here, we ran out of dirt. We had to build up one side of the pond about six inches. And so all the soil that came out of the pond got flipped over to that side and we needed to start generating some more. So we're digging a hole down here, just generating topsoil that we're moving up the hill and then sprucing up all the edges and everything. So later we're gonna have to come back down here, fill this back in with some soil, but we just don't have the soil today. So that will get preserved back to its original state at some point. this rock when I was picking up these logs and they gave it to me over there and I think it's the perfect channel. Now we're just trying to figure out if how to get water coming this way, coming this way, and then just that nice fall right in here. It looks like it always just kind of eroded away and exposed the stone, which is the goal of building a waterfall. And we're gonna try, because of the rock, we're gonna build an upper pool up here so it just has a natural bend in it. It's gonna be awesome. seconds or less, she's gonna eat five onions. Go! You have to have it completely swallowed. You're at 13 seconds. You're at 13 seconds. Come on, Come on, There, there's some water. Hey, hey. No, oh, oh, Come on. Okay. You have 20, you have five, four seconds. Three. Two. <laughs> <laughs> I love my job. <laughs> Fifty-seven, and we've been sitting around for a half an hour just waiting for the water to fill up. We finished this thing by 2.30. It's amazing. Now there are a couple things that are not done yet. We're waiting for lumber for the bridge that had to come on a ferry across Lake Erie over to the island and then we'll be able to put that together either later tonight or first thing tomorrow morning. We're also waiting for another load of soil because getting soil on the island is a difficult thing so they're going back and forth, back and forth. I don't know if they're going on the ferry, if they've got a hole dug in some other pe person's property but things are looking incredible. We've got some really really cool areas. I love the shape of the pond. I think we did the most of what we could with this type of rock. The one thing I do like is the rock is 100% indigenous to the island. I mean it literally, hey, go listen to them. When that man starts doing this, it means he's leaving. That's all. <laughs> so I guess that's a wrap for him today. And I think all these guys are going to go back. We're going to shower. We're going to have some food, maybe a couple drinks. And then we'll be back here early tomorrow. What I was telling you, though, is I love the shape of the pond. I like, like some of the bigger rocks in here. Some of the driftwood that we found locally is looking really nice in here. Once this bridge gets put in and we button up this edges, they're going to look great. And then check out this waterfall edge built. So you remember this was our wetland filter. Right here is the cap for the snorkel. But this rock that Ed put in here, uh, Greg found the rock, is gonna be one of the, my favorite looking waterfalls. Maybe second favorite. I built one that was really nice one time too. <laughs> but the waterfall looks amazing. The biofalls is all hidden. The berm is basically done. We're just waiting for some water. Water and some lumber and we'll call it a wrap. It's day 
night too and you remember yesterday we killed it we got so much done so we think we're gonna go ahead and decorate this thing a little bit we're gonna spread some mulch we're gonna go ahead and lay our conduit and bury that electric line over there we're gonna install a dosing system which Chris Wilson is gonna show you a little bit later we still got to build a bridge we're gonna try to do all of this in about an hour and a half so hang on tight and you'll get to see this thing running very very shortly decided at the last minute that we didn't like this little angle here so we added a rock we're foaming it in and now we can have the water come all the way up to here it's the little details not having it a line in the edge that you see and then what I did was get the fabric wet put it down in there and then foam it on both sides and then cover that with rock and we'll have water coming over this side Right, it's time for the automatic dosing system. I got this all boxed up. Let me give you a quick recap though. As you can see, it's in the final stages of plugging this thing in. We're super excited. All we gotta do is drop in the bridge going right across. It's getting built and then we're getting ready to fire this up. But at the end of every installation, it comes time for the automatic dosing system. The automatic dosing system adds all of the treatment to the ecosystem on its own. Think of it as like an IV pouch for the water feature, right? So it automatically adds the treatment for you. Why you would want this is because mother nature needs some help and by the time we start to see growth in there, by the time we start to see stuff start to bloom, it's too late and people start to panic. The automatic dosing system adds it for you when it's needed. The only thing you'll need to do is check it after about 30 days on this size pond, see if the pouch is empty and replace the pouch. So let's take a look at the contents in here really quick. So here we have the canister, the housing for the actual treatment. Simple to operate. You take the these clips off you pull everything out the treatment bag comes right here today we're just adding maintain for the uh, the water feature this is everyday good use for the treatments I'm gonna go ahead and take this cap right off I'm gonna put the straw back down and seal it right onto the top LED panel right here we got some more guts in here some mounting brackets the relay hose that goes from this panel right here into the water feature itself and then once this is all done I'm gonna button it up by dropping this in in there make sure I don't kink my hose and pop this guy on like so and I'm gonna mount it now this LED panel is what is important so right on this LED screen right here you can see gallons you can see liters that's coming in here this water feature here I'm just gonna guesstimate without taking a calculator to it we'll pop it at 2,000 gallons so it's going to add the right amount daily to the system so it's gonna be like your natural vitamin for your immune system to start it off for the first week I want to hit the double dosing the two times button right there and you don't have to worry about it it's peace of mind maybe 30 days 45 days 60 days depending on the size of your water feature but this you absolutely need for a healthy ecosystem <laughs> generation.
Oh yeah. Okay, so we said noon on day two. It is 12.03. We had to position everybody. All right, let's go. Let's give birth to a new waterfalls. Always fun. You're the male, I'm the female. All right, let's check running? this out. Let's see how this looks. Joe should be proud when he sees this thing. Thank you guys so much, seriously. And we did great, guys. We did great. We just turned it on. It's amazing. It's all finished. We have one more thing to do. We're going to put some plants in. I'm going to show you everything after we do the plants. What did you just say? I said it warms my heart. This is so cool. <laughs> did you, you had no, no I had, perspective? I did not think it was going to be like this. What I, did you think? Well, you saw the one we did inside. Well, I just, I don't know. I just did not think it was going to be this at all. So I'm, it's, I'm like ready to cry. It's so cool. Amen. Amazing. That's what it's all about. <laughs> and what's cool is we haven't even put the plants in yet. I, that's well, what it's she just said. Thank they're not here yet. <laughs> Amazing, huh? Well done, my friend. <laughs> thank you, this thank you. Impressive. We had a team of certified aquascape contractors out here and in two and a half days created this. And it all started because you had the little pond down when we walked it and you asked if we could fix it. We're like, why don't we just build you a new one up here? <laughs> Is that little pond still down there? Oh, yeah. It it's like a little mud pit. I like yeah. how it was fix it or make or this. And this is so much more accessible for everybody that comes it to really this is. Yeah. Hey, did you see this rock we found? I mean, that rock was sitting at, at the that tree one? yard, that rock, and we just said this was born to be a waterfall. That's wow. one ball. Get out. <laughs> how did you get it there? Did you guys move the back out? Yeah, we did. Put it on a pallet, pallet yeah. pallet it over here, and then it almost killed me when it fell off of the rock sling and came right at me, and I had to jump. It was cat-like reflexes. You know what that's like. Yeah, well, you would build cat-like reflexes. <laughs> I like the deer skull. I, I did see that picture. Greg sent me that had the deer skull in it. That is a super cool addition. Yeah, that was and I found it and repurposed it. Yeah, so it's a it's a Christmas tree with the decorations just starting on it, and another year from now it'll just be. And this is all native plants that we used here, which is in you know spirit of what the conservation is about. I think it's really cool that you guys used elements from the island to bring it all together, and ability for people to walk through the middle to then get back to the trails there. And once little critters start coming in and making themselves at home, this is gonna be pretty darn cool. And that sound is gonna be just drawn them in too. Yeah. So now all we need is a fire pit right here and we have some some good nights and some good liquid li libations to sit by. I told you we'd show you this thing finished and it looks insane. I just absolutely love it. Come on, I'll show you all my favorite part. I love the fact that we got to use indigenous stone from the island. It's just so incredible. All these limestone chunks in here. We've got all this stuff in here. In fact, even the gravel down below, come look at how clear this pond is. So even the gravel down below literally is scooped up from the island shore and brought over here. So we've got all kinds of sandy type stuff, some of the river stone down in here. I love the way the skimmer box 
boxes hidden with the pieces of driftwood that we found from the island back over in there. We've got some pickerel rush planted in in a couple different areas. We've got all kinds of native plantings put in. We've got an awesome little bridge which we've seen countless people walking over and you can get right in this thing. Like it is so much fun to just get in here. But the one thing that really makes this thing stand out more than anything is this waterfall. Greg, the pond guy, found this rock right here and look at how it just has been naturally eroded away over millions and millions and millions of years. I'm guessing 100 million years. But the way this got set in here, Ed did an awesome job incorporating the log, getting this thing to flow just right. We got water spilling from here. It rolls over the log, comes back in this area, a little bit over in here, which is gonna be awesome for like butterflies and birds and all kinds of different stuff. And then there's another one that comes back over in here. And then I'm standing on top of the wetland, which is just kind of cool. So this this thing is super, super filtered, which is why in less than six hours, this thing got this clear. I mean, just look at the water. It's insane. And I'll have to tell you what, it feels pretty good to get inside this thing. It was an honor to work for Lake Erie Island Nature and Wildlife Center. Renee is an incredible human being. I encourage you guys to come out here, visit not just the pond, but the entire space. You won't regret it. And the island's kind of fun. Hey, you guys know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe. Tell us your favorite part about this whole thing and we'll make sure we do it again. Bye.